Katata Tiago kekali ke badan 4 star safety rating. Nyak tak Tiago bacangan kali kawan ke Jongpi. Nyak tak Tiago nak kebentar ke jenisengan kolongi Jongpi. Wan cek Frank Motor salat kor ban test drive mentah. The all new Tiago. It's seriously fun. Wemeli ke Voice of the People Party VPP na nongkrem uba aden mele basa umait ulaong baka sorkar kaladei ban pensenge lani pen up shua ke jing pentri kam ya ke rooster system. Ya kini uba aden ulayok ban keren ha ke por bala island ban ya keren ya kemang tingka ke bala wanra adu mencu rong ba. Hadin ba om shim layok la satya ban keren ha ke sengi tok ding ha ke jing etai. Motion. Wemeli ke liang persya ulaong baka parti kam don jing temu persya ya ke nuk nuk kejap bentriu ne ya ke jing pentri kam ya ke rusa sistem. Lani ke jing batai ya ke jing bahak kam sya ke jap bentriu berper berper ha ke jing pentrum kam ha ke tunat sorkar. Ada ke jingkwa ke longba ke sorkar ke day ban pen up shua ke jing petri kam ya ke rusa sistem kat ba empat la ban bisyar biang ya ke an bahak kam lani ke reservation policy. So I raise to participate in this budget discussion. So, uh, at the outset, I would like to thank you for giving me this uh, <coughs> opportunity to participate in this discussion. So, the other day, I was asked by a member of press, uh, will you move a no confidence motion? against this government or not. So I would like to uh, bring it to the notice of the House that as the party belonging to the opposition, we, the day we see that the government decides to hold the session in seven days only, we feel that that itself speaks volume of the fact that this government is not at all serious and sincere to face the problem of the people and in fact wants to run away from the responsibility. So which is why we start <coughs> doubting the government from that very day itself. We may not move a no confidence motion against this government but as members belonging to the site, we don't have a confidence at all. So we have been restrained as members to raise, to raise many issues due to time constraint. So sir, as mentioned by the most senior member of this August House, that the way in which the business was conducted and the decision taken by the speaker to not extend the time has really hurt the sentiment of the members belonging to this site, sir. So, in fact, we've got a lot of issues. We want to talk about the reservation policy. We want to talk about the killing of late Sheristerfield, thank you, who was the former General Secretary of the HNLC. And there's a lot of issues that we want to raise. And I'm happy that uh, after we tried and we failed to raise the issue of roaster system in the House, that it has stirred up the discussion in the state and I have seen the observation of one of the leader of one leading political party in the state, which try to discourage us, as it will be, it will amount to our opposition to the decision of the honourable judiciary. So, I would like to uh, express in a very categorical term that when we decide to raise or to speak on the issue of roster system. We don't have any intention or ill feeling against any particular community. 
And I would like also to express very clearly that we are not against the roast system. We are not against the roast system. However, we want that the government should put on hold the implementation of roast system uh, pending the review of the reception policy. We have the problem with the reception policy, not with the roster system. So, sir, which is why we feel that this is the right platform for us to raise this issue. We know that as responsible leader, we are dealing with a very sensitive issue, highly sensitive issue, I may say. So therefore, we understand that we have to be you know, very careful and we have to deal with this issue with an utmost care. Even the words that we choose would be very, very important for us to understand because we don't want to hurt the sentiment of any particular community. We don't want also to take away the rights of <coughs> that particular community and we don't want that our rights also will be compromised. We don't believe in a politics of hatred a communal politics, a politics of self-centered, not like those parties who have squarely blamed the leader belonging <coughs> to one particular community for all the wrongdoings of the government after having partnered with them in the entire term. And the Deputy Chief Minister <coughs> has rightly responded that after the 2nd of March, they will come to us and we will make them sit on the roof of the bus, which exactly they have done it. So, sir, there may be a wrong impression about us as being haters and too conservative in our minds. Uh, and the people may misunderstood or misconceive about me personally, especially after the language issue, sir. But the fact of the matter is that we are not. Maybe I have a look that misrepresents my hearts and minds. And sometimes I used to think, I used to think about taking off my face and replace with a gentler look, but I'm reminded by an old saying which is very popular that it is not right to judge the book by its cover. So I would therefore request all of us, please do not judge us by the book, by the look that we have, but try to understand better about our minds and hearts. So, I'm sure many have seen my display picture, which reads like this. I am a Christian, but make no mistake. I will defend the poor and the weak. I will defend freedom. I will sacrifice so that others may live. I will defend my family, which also includes my community, and the people of the state to the death. <coughs> I love peace, but I am a fierce enemy. I live with my own coat. I live with honor. I was born to be a warrior. That is exactly who I am, sir. Sir, I don't want to use many words in this submission as far as this issue is concerned, sir, because again I'm reminded by the scripture which can be found in the book of Proverbs, which says, quote unquote, sir, when there are many words, wrongdoings is unavoidable, but one who restrains his lips is wise. Sir, without an iota of doubt, I can say that the decision of our leaders to fix the reservation policy, 44 the Cassis, 44 Garus, and 20 
for others were done thoughtlessly and hurriedly. The rush on the part of the Kasi leaders to agree on this arrangement perhaps was due to the fear that their dream of a statehood may not be materialized. Or maybe they have overlooked the difference in the size of the population. So, we know that there are many lacunae in this policy. When you look at the recept, at the population between among the between the two tribes, sir. In 1971, the population of the Cassis is 4,57,064. And of our brothers, Garu brothers, is 3,20,613. And if you convert it to percentage, <coughs> Kasi constitute up to 45% and the Garu community constitute 30% only. In 1981, we constituted 6,29,640. Percentage-wise, it comes to 47. And our Garu friends, 3,99,69. Percentage-wise, it comes to 30%. 1991, 8,79,192. Percentage-wise, it comes to 50%. And our Garu friends, 547, 690, 37%. 2001, we have 91,087. Percentage-wise, it comes to 47%. Please wind, up. Please wind up. Time is limited now. I have given you uh, five, 10 minutes. You didn't tell me the time, sir. You just called me. Ten, ten minutes. You have already exceeded the time. So Why don't you allow me to finish, sir? This. And if you look at the reservation to, uh, policy, sir, you will find that there are almost eight to ten times that this policy have been changed through office memorandums, and. There is also no provision for the reservation of PWDs whom we would prefer to call DAP or differently able person. So which is why, sir, I feel that it is an urgent need to put on hold the implementation of roster system retrospectively and let the government come out first with a better policy because, as I have said, we don't want to discriminate anyone. And if we go by this policy, we find that the changes have been brought also to allow people from outside the state to avail this benefit, sir. So, sir, I feel that if our leaders in the past from both the community can come together for the formation of the state, why can't? the present leadership from both the communities sit together and discuss and come up with a better policy so that we will not allow the vested interest political activists to vitiate the utmost fear further. So with a deep sense of concern, sir. In fact, I want to touch on the uh, budget also, sir, but since, uh, again, uh, I've been asked to sit. So, coming to the budget, so, uh, please wind up. So, so before I resume my seat, I would earnestly appeal. I would like to urge the conscience of our leader to think about this problem seriously. And as I've mentioned, that we are not against the roster system, but we feel that that can be put on hold pending the review of this 
reservation policy. So, since I'm not allowed to continue, sir, I will issue my seat.